How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kickin' Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, we're talking smoked meatloaf. Now, this ain't your mama's meatloaf. This is gonna be a barbecue flared smoked meatloaf. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. We're stuffing it with some spinach and some cheese, so it's gonna be healthy because it's got green vegetables in it. And I really think you're gonna enjoy this recipe. So let's quit the chatting and get in here and prep this meatloaf. All right, guys, so before we get started on prepping this, I just want to kind of go through and show you what we're working with here. This is two pounds of ground beef. Use whatever ratio you like, 80, 20, 90, 10, whatever you like. And then this is just some pork sausage. It's going to add a little nice little flavor to this meatloaf and help keep it moist with that pork fat in there. So we also have a cup of milk, a cup of breadcrumbs, four cloves of garlic, one whole onion, some pepper jack cheese, and some spinach that we just sauteed up a little bit light. And then we also have two eggs beaten. And this is kind of going to be the foundation of our meatloaf. And it's going to be really delicious. I've done this recipe before with ground beef. I've done it with venison. And it always turns out really good. So right here, you can see we got our meat. At this point, I kind of want to just get this garlic in here. Like I said, that's four cloves going in. Get that in there. We want to get our onion in there. And I like a lot of onion. I don't know if we're going to use the whole amount there. but So that's kind of what we're working with right now. And now I just want to kind of get everything incorporated. And you don't want to handle the meat too much. You just kind of want to get everything incorporated evenly and as nicely as you can. So I'm just kind of get that going. And like I said, I really like onions. So if this is too much for you, then use less onions. But this is what I enjoy. Plus when this onion cooks down, it's gonna give it a really nice flavor. So, all right. Go ahead and just kind of lightly get that incorporated there. And that's looking pretty good. Now, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and add our breadcrumbs. This is gonna kind of help act as a binder to keep our loaf together here. So we get that in there. We're gonna hit it with our milk. One cup going in. And our two beaten eggs. And that's just gonna bring everything together, get it nice and tacky. Almost like sausage, but not quite. So we'll go ahead and get that all mixed up and incorporated here. Now at this point, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Just use what you like to taste. That's all we're going with there. And then I'm also gonna come in with my Tailgater's Barbecue Party Rub. It's gonna be nice and savory. Gonna add a great flavor to this meatloaf. So we'll give it a nice dusting here. Now we'll go ahead and get that seasoning worked in, that Worcestershire sauce. You can see it's starting to tack up a little bit here. It's holding on pretty well, so we've got a nice bind going on this meatloaf. We'll come back with a little bit of our party rub here. Just give it a nice dose. It's three pounds, almost three pounds of meat in there, so we go pretty heavy with it. We want to get the flavor on the inside. We're just going to go ahead and get that evenly mixed up here all right so that is looking pretty good to me now normally you could throw this in the fridge let these flavors kind of marry together for a while i don't have time for that today and it'll also help firm up this meat since you've been handling it and make life a little bit easier so i'd say if you have a couple hours to do this throw it in the fridge for a couple hours and let it get a little happy in there now we're going to take our loaf pan and I'm actually not going to be cooking in this, but I'm going to go ahead and use it to form my loaf. So the first thing I want to do is just kind of get a nice bunch and get this down in here, cover the bottom. Like I said, this is going to be a stuffed meatloaf, so it's going to have the cheese and the spinach in it. So we want to go ahead and get that down like that. All right, so at this point, just kind of take your fingers and create a little crater in there just to help hold your stuffing. And we're just gonna grab our cheese here. Like I said, this is just pepper jack. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that down. I love a good stuffed meatloaf. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. Go ahead and get our cheese in there. Don't be shy, use as much or as little as you want or 
Don't even stuff it with cheese if you don't want to. Then we're just gonna take our spinach, because we're eating healthy today. So we got our spinach in there. That's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of our meat in here. All right, so you can see we have our meatloaf here. It's looking really dang good. It's already smelling good. Now at this point, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and get these gloves off here. But I got a pan, and this is what I'm gonna be cooking on today. So I'm just gonna go ahead, take and set that down. And then you can see here, I got this plastic wrap in there. And that's just kinda keep it from sticking to the side there. So at this point, all we wanna do is grab this pan, flip it over there, boom your plastic off there you go you got your meatloaf it's looking really good at this point you can go ahead and make sure you got it all sealed up and pressed in which we're gonna do all right so at this point we're just gonna kind of help help our loaf along help it form make sure try and seal it all up so we don't have any of that delicious cheese coming out of there now at this point we're gonna come in some of our part some of our party rub Give a nice dusting over the top of it, just for a little flavor on the outside. And that's looking good there. Then we're gonna come in with the Elk Creek Hog Knuckle. This stuff is absolutely delicious. And this is a barbecue meatloaf. So this is gonna help give it a little color here. Just on top and on the sides if we can get them. Oh yeah, there we go. Come in and get our sides here. And there we go, we got our stuffed meatloaf ready to go here. We're gonna get this out on the Pit Boss Pro Series 1600. We're cooking at 300 degrees. We're gonna be using cooking pellets, the perfect mix, which is a various mix of maple, apple, hickory, and some other really great flavors. So it's gonna be really good. And we're cooking at 300 today because this isn't gonna be a long cook. Uh, the smoking pellets do a good job of smoking at a higher temperature, so we're able to get away with that on cooking this meatloaf. And it's going to be absolutely delicious, so I will meet you guys outside at the cooker. Alright guys, you can see we have our meatloaf out here on the Pit Boss Pro Series 1600, running at 300 degrees. We're going to let this go for an hour, and then we'll come out and check internal temperatures, see where we're at. But I'm anticipating about an hour and a half to two hours on this cook. So we're going to let this thing smoke for an hour and come out and check the temperatures, and we will see you then. All right guys, so it's been one hour. We're gonna go ahead and check the internal temperature on our meatloaf here. You can see we are sitting at about 100 degrees, 99, 97. Go and check right here, 100 degrees, 97. So we're sitting about 97 degrees all the way across. We're gonna let this go for another half hour, come out and check it. Uh, I did come out at the half hour mark and just give this a 180 spin to keep it evenly cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that again now. Go ahead and let it do its thing. We'll come out and check it again in a half hour and see where we're at and give her another spin. So see you guys in 30 minutes. All right guys, so it has been one hour and 30 minutes since we've had this meatloaf on. You can see we have great color. We're gonna go ahead and check our internal temperature again here. We are sitting at about 124, 122, 121, 120, 123 right there. So it's looking good. Look at all that juice coming out, nice and juicy. So I think we're gonna be good for about another half hour and then we'll pretty much be where we want it to get a nice glaze on it. So I'm going to go ahead and just rotate this 180 degrees one more time and we'll come out and check it in 30 minutes. All right guys, so it has been two and a half hours. I just went ahead and tempt the meatloaf. It is sitting at about 160 degrees, so it's right where we want it. And because we're cooking at 300, we don't need long for this sauce to set up. And we're just gonna go really light with the sauce. We don't wanna bury it, we just wanna get a nice glaze on it. So I'm gonna go ahead, just hit it with a little sauce, use whatever sauce you like. Go ahead and get this thing coated up with a light, light glaze of sauce. All right, you can see here, got a nice glaze on it. We're just gonna go ahead, 
get this in and let it go for about five minutes and then we'll get it inside let it rest and dig in so i will pick up when it's time to go ahead and give a taste test but i'm going to let this glaze set for five minutes get it in let it cool i'm not going to bring you back out here just to show that so i'll bring you back when it's time to do the taste test all right guys so here it is here is our barbecue stuffed smoked meatloaf it looks awesome it smells wonderful i can't wait to try it i mean just look at the color on that there's only one thing left to do and that's to slice into it and see how we did so let's bring the camera in show you how it looks all right it is the moment of truth got my doll strong quantum series here i'm just gonna slice into it see how we did let's just go right down the middle and check out that money shot oh yeah that's nice check that out now that my friends is a stuffed meatloaf we got the cheese we got the spinach we got a nice smoke ring it's still incredibly juicy cooked through and through i mean that is absolutely fantastic i'm gonna slice off a little piece here because these are for our meal preps for the week look at that cheese pour out that's beautiful Check that out. I told you this wasn't your mama's meatloaf. That is a delicious looking slice of meatloaf. It's juicy. It's got cheese in there that's nice and melted. We got the spinach in there because we're healthy. Got to have our vegetables. I mean, that is absolutely awesome. So I'm going to bring you out and we're going to jump in and do a taste test on this bad boy. All right, guys, it is the moment of truth. We are going to go ahead and give this a try. And then I'm just going to cut out this middle section here because I want some of the cheese. I want some of the spinach. That is a really nice bite. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Cheers. Wow, that is the best meatloaf I have ever made in my entire life, hands down. That to me is comfort food as it, at its finest. It's not dry, it's cheesy. It's got wonderful flavor on it. Those cooking pellets, perfect mix. I did an awesome job. You can see we got the smoke on it. We got the smoke ring rolling. Like I said, that pork adds a little something to it. You know, you're cooking meatloaf to 165 degrees. It can dry out if you're not careful. That pork really keeps it from drying out. The sauce, the rubs, everything is fantastic. It's very cohesive. It's balanced, which is what I'm always looking for when I cook is a nice balance. I'm going in for another piece. I mean, look at that. That is perfect meatloaf guys i highly recommend you give this a try like i said best meatloaf i've ever made i'm looking forward to having this for lunch all week long it's easy it's delicious it's smoked i don't know what more you can want in a delicious meatloaf like i said this ain't your mama's meatloaf this is barbecue meatloaf this is stuffed meatloaf and i highly recommend giving it a try guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to like subscribe ring that bell stay safe and we will see you next time